More than 1,100 schools across our nation have raised money for the memorial. Let me just tell you about one of them, Milwaukee High School in Milwaukee, Oregon. Five years ago, a teacher named Ken Buckles wanted to pay tribute to the World War II veterans. He and his students searched out local veterans and invited them to school for a Living History Day. 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 History came alive today at Milwaukee High School as students paid tribute to more than 600 veterans from our area. It's a one-of-a-kind event that takes enormous effort and brings... My name is Ken Buckles and I've been a teacher here for 25 years, uh, PE, weight room, coached a lot of different sports, ex-head football coach, and the chief organizer of Living History Day, the executive director of the nonprofit Remembering America's Heroes, which supports Milwaukee High's Living History Day. Nobody would have thought this show could have been put on here. Mr. Buckles had the dream. The school all came together. This didn't have Hollywood. It didn't have millions of dollars of outside money, but what a show and what an expression of patriotism this is. And I would like for all of you to give a standing ovation to the students and Mr. Buckles and all the people involved in showing the world what we're made of. I love the fact that kids get to learn something real, tangible, and long-lasting. These students are just fantastic. To be able to bring them here and have them honored and recognize them and escort them through the day has meant an awful lot to uh, many students over the years. I have more faith in this younger generation than I ever had before. It really does make it worthwhile because when you get to see the look on those veterans' face and the tears in their eyes and they shake your hand. I think it's really important that the kids and the staff and the community get a chance for one day in a year to recognize truly great human beings. It's such an amazing program and the impact it has on a high school in the community. I, I really wish that every high school in the nation could experience this. Members of VFW Post 1557 gave the program a check for $1,000. That money will go a long way to keep history alive at Milwaukee High. Many of the students say hearing from these veterans has changed the way they look at the world. I think it shows a greater meaning that uh, the ones that we really like to thank are the ones that didn't come back and the ones who, who lost their lives. Unfortunately, we can't in person say thank you, but I think wherever they are, they know we appreciate the sacrifices they made so that we have the freedoms we do. To the ones who are laying in the fields of Flanders or in the cemeteries up here, that they help save the world. I look at it as an opportunity for this school, the students and staff, to take one day out of the school year where we can honor and thank uh, the veterans who served our country and we can remember those who, uh, who didn't come back home. I think that's the least we can do. Um, and. Uh, 99% of the student body feels the same way, so I don't think it's an issue. I think it's something that's going to last for a long time. Here.